Hello? Hello. I love you. Ziad? Is that you? I love you. Where are you? Flight 93 to San Francisco is now ready for boarding. Please have your name of our war. The compassionate. The merciful. Alam. Owner of the day of judgment. Uh, no, I can't go over You alone we worship. You alone we ask for help. Praise be to Allah. Yalla. Reception. Come on. Did you think there'd be maids waiting for you here like at home? <laughs> here. Treat yourselves tonight. But from tomorrow, it is study and work. Hello. Well, they expect me to sign the contract over the phone. Make them a cup of tea. I'll be there in 20 minutes. You have my phone? Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Bye-bye. Tschüss. Tschüss. Abu Mohammed. Alaikum salam. I'm Salim. Nice to meet you. Salim. I have a class. See you soon, right? Okay. Yeah. And what is your name? Ziyad Jarrah. Jarrah? Oh, you are descended from a great man. Abu Abida ibn al Jarrah, one of the first companions of the Prophet. Are you a student here? Yes, I am. Yes, I thought I hadn't seen you before. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Lebanon. I'm from Bakar. That is good. Have you any family here? Coming to my party tomorrow. Yes, I have an Can uncle and a, a cousin. Any friends? No, not yet. Of course, you are a Muslim. Well, I went to Catholic school. On the paper, I'm a Muslim, but... Uh, my family, they're, they're not very religious. Okay, but you're a Muslim, no? I'm a Muslim. Are you a good Muslim yet? Do you say your prayers? No. You should say your prayers. Because... Prayers is not something up to you or me. It comes from Allah. Don't let the devil play with you and tell you it is difficult. You have to be very strong. Here, we are brothers. We have a mosque. And we look after each other. We can help you. It is a kafir society, Ziyad, an infidel society. Don't let yourself be alone. Read this. Think about your life, see it. Think about your brothers. Uh, Shah, are you sure we have enough 
تكليف نفسي وش هذا؟ السلام عليكم السلام عليكم السلام عليكم السلام عليكم تقبل الله شكرا You see, brother, it's all about motivation. And what greater motivation can there be than Allah Himself? It's important for you to attend all the meetings. One moment. There's somebody I have to see. Wait. Hey! Hi. Where are you going? Wait there! Where are you going? Shopping? I'll go with you. Yeah. Yes. We're having a prayer meeting. Would you like to come? No, thank you, Abu Muhammad. Hello, Aiza. Hello. That guy needs to lighten up a bit. So, how long does it take to be a dentist? Five, six years. That's a lot. <laughs> Minimum. What are you going to be? That's more what my parents want me to be. What's that? Successful. <laughs> I'm their only son. Well, isn't there anything you're interested in? Yeah, cars and planes and pretty Turkish girls. <laughs> oh, look. Like it? It's a bit revealing. Mm, it's lovely. Let me get it. No. Please. No. Please. Really? Yes, please. <laughs> You're kidding? No, I'm serious. And they're still looking for waiters. You want to come? No, you gonna break your back. <laughs> Lazy fuck. You've been living in the West for so long. Many of you have been born here. You have to learn to be good Muslims, although you live among Westerners. The modern world is distracted. It will take you away from God. It is your duty, every one of you, to make God the center of your world. Because after all, we belong to God. Tell me, what is the problem with the modern world? Lots of things. Money, materialism, obsession with money. Where is God in the modern world? Said, there's no God in this modern world. You don't believe in God anymore. It makes me really angry. Where is he in the hearts of men? Amir, what is the problem with the modern world? The modern world is a confusion. It's a world turned upside down. It's brutal. It's schizophrenic. Chaotic. All the time we're told to take, to possess, to own, to fill up our lives with material things. Yet in our hearts we know these things are useless. But we despise men who measure themselves by the car they drive, the house they live in, their money. I walk these streets, but I'm dreaming of another universe. Modern life gives me nothing but false promises. It wants to corrupt me. It wants to devour me. It wants to take the sky and the wind from me. It wants to take God from me. Do you think any of them are serious? Most of them don't even know how to pray. But with God's blessing, we will turn them into good Muslims. I should go. Come and eat, Amir. I have food at home. Allah ma'ak, Ramzi. He's not coming. Well, it was a good night. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. The food is lovely. How old are you? Anyone?
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين And when the Prophet came down, praise be upon him, he did not embrace the rich, he embraced the downtrodden, he embraced the outcast, he embraced the orphans. Come in, brother, come in. Assalamu alaikum. This is our brother, Ziyad. Sit down. We're having a discussion. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Hey, where do you think you're going? Hmm? Oh, nowhere. <laughs> the Hadith says... Yeah? The man is supposed to arouse the woman and give her lots of kisses and do other things. I like the sound of that. You're supposed to hold... Conversations of sexual love. <laughs> you mean talk dirty? So you are from Lebanon? Huh? Were you in the group? I mean, in Lebanon, you can't stay neutral. What do you mean groups? How come you ask me that? You are Lebanese and you say that. You know about civil war, don't you? Yeah, I know about civil war. Where are you from? Palestine. I'm from Lebanon. I know the war. Then you should do something for the Palestinians. The Lebanese turned against us. I didn't turn against anybody. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Lebanese killed our people. They are working with the Israelis. You know about Sabran Shatia? Yeah, I know about Sabran Shatia. What do you know about it? I seen the caterpillars get the bodies. And that's all. You yeah, kept watching this. What do you want me to do? Do something, I used to man. play football with the kids from the camp. Do you want me to blow myself up? Don't stay neutral. That's what you want me to do. Yeah. Blow myself up! Please! Yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Let's not the devil come between us. We are all Muslims here. And Bashar, you know God says in the Quran, go in the way of God peacefully. A Muslim is a brother to a Muslim. And whoever comes in need of his brother, Allah comes in his need. Remember, we do not criticize each other. We are all brothers. Muslim? He listens to what people around him say. He comes to prayer meetings. He's learning to put God at the center of his life. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay. I saw the Serbs enter Karakaj. I saw them round up the Muslim men. I saw them strip the men and put them in the sports hall of the school. I heard the screams. I heard the crack of pistols. I saw Muslim men taken out and shot in the back of the head. Bam! 
I saw the classrooms of the school. I saw Muslim boys. They weren't sitting at their desks, their books in front of them, learning like you do at school. The boys I saw in Karakaj were lying on the floor with their throats slit. And the women, they were raped. I saw them after the Serbs got through with them, torn to pieces, their breasts cut off. I saw bodies stuffed into wells. I saw Muslim houses on fire. I smelled the smell, like meat cooked in an oven. Who can deny this Holocaust is happening? Everywhere Muslims are being slaughtered. In Bosnia, in Chechnya, in Tunisia, yeah. Iraq, mm -hmm. Kashmir, Palestine. Coming from the Lebanon, no one has to teach our Muslims are suffering. We, we must learn to take responsibility for our lives. Right, for far too long, our right, brothers all over the, the world need. have suffered it's humiliation the same all over the Arab world. after humiliation. Do you know what an octopus is? A big head? The tentacles? What happens if you cut one of the tentacles? Nothing. The octopus lives, squeezing the life out of the prey it lives on. Who is the big head? The octopus. America. Why are they killing us? The Europeans killed them, and now they're killing us. He says this. In the holiest place and on his gravestone. Israel. His army set in Egypt. Saudi Arabia. And they're the tentacles. Only when you die. Israel. His honest settlers in Rome. Egypt. He was Saudi Arabia. And yeah. Yeah. They're the House tentacles. The only way to tell the They don't respect our religion. The Greens America. The head of the Federal Reserve. America the Joe Albright. The Secretary of State. They're all Jews. The names. What we have to watch Washington. They try to tell us Jews don't run America. Just in Germany, this feeling against the Jews. It made big problems. You know, the Second World War. Who started the Second World War? The Jews. It's ludicrous. But saying that the Holocaust didn't happen. The point happen. is not whether it happened. The point is the Jews ultimately profited from the Second World War. Look, there's no argument about this. Before the war, did the Jews have a state? Did they have an army? They used the Holocaust to steal our brother's homelands. So what do we do? What do you mean by that? I mean, what should a Muslim be doing today? You do what I did. You fight. Who do we fight? Are you a Muslim? Yes. Do you fear God? Yes. And do your duty. Every able-bodied man must be willing to train for jihad. The insincere can always say, I am willing, but there is nowhere to train. But there are camps in Afghanistan, in Indonesia, there are places to train. Sheikh Abdullah Azam, blessings upon him, the great founder of the Mujahideen said, Muslims, jihad is your life. Your dignity and your existence depend on it. Brothers and sisters in Palestine. What do you think about what Brother Haidar said about jihad? To be honest, I thought jihad was about fighting evil in here. It was about learning how to become a better Muslim. You know more than what you think you know, Ziyad. Abu Muhammad tells me you're a student. What are you studying? It's just a general course, but I've applied for dental medicine at again. Dental medicine? Islam needs people with skills. The Jews and the Americans, they're clever people. Not as clever as they think, but they control technology. That's how they dominate and humiliate us. These are the things we have to learn. Useful things. Practical things. Are you happy in Griswold? Have you been there? What do you stay for? I got family there. Friends. You are married? No. You should come to Hamburg. It's a nice place. There are good schools there. You make friends and I'll be there for you if you need any help. Anything at all. Thank you. The minute I saw you, Ziyad, I said to myself, this isn't just another Arab trying to be like people here with money and women on the brain. This is someone who wants to make his life count for something. Thank you. I'm a good judge of people, Ziyad. You think you'll make a good brother? It's too early to tell. He's still a bit confused. The first thing to do is to persuade them to put God at the very center of their lives. 
then they'll be ready to train. What about you? Are you ready? I dream about it every day. To be up in the mountains, surrounded by nature, with only my brothers and my gun. I am ready. Brother Haidar, I've been ready for a long time. It is my duty. I am ready. Don't make a big deal out of this. I'm not. It's just you're spending a lot of time with McCarty. Well, just because I see him, it doesn't mean I do everything he says. Okay. Don't underestimate me. Okay. There they are. Hello. Hey, you are looking at the new owner. What, Shalim? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Hi. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Hey, Gus. This is Jennifer. Hello. Hi. Aisha. Nice to meet you. Ziyash. Have a seat. Thank you. I'm going to call it Bella Italia. What do you think? Ah. Congratulations. Thanks, man. This is just the beginning. The beginning of what? A chain. Greifswald's finest Italian restaurant. Ah. Do you have to? Yep. There you go. No, just water for me. So Makhari's made you give up drink as well? No, all Abu Muhammad is doing is helping us live like good Muslims. I was just asking. You were making a comment to my religion. And cheers. Yes. You're just as bad as he is drinking and smoking. Come on, you know that I drink and I smoke. Salim just wants to celebrate. What are you celebrating, Salim? Your little pizza place? Yeah. What's wrong with that? You want to pretend you're a German businessman? Go ahead. But you know we're Arabs, we're Muslims. You're a good Muslim, Nazir? Yes, I'm a good Muslim. Since when? Since I've committed to it. I know what I'm doing. There's nothing wrong with it. I've got news for you, Ziad. You know that good Muslims don't fuck their girlfriends? I wish you every success with your new business, Salim. Good night. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawm al-Din. Iyaka na'udhu. Praise be to Allah, who revealed the book, controls the clouds, and says in his book, Fight and slay the pagans wherever you find them. Seize them, beleaguer them, and lie in wait for them in every stratagem of war. And peace be upon our prophet, Muhammad bin Abdullah, who said, I have been sent with a sword between my hands to ensure that no one but God is worshipped. God, who put my livelihood under the shadow of my spear and who inflicts humiliation and scorn on those who disobey my orders. The Arabian Peninsula has never, since God made it flat, created its desert and encircled it with seas, been stormed by any forces like the Crusader armies, now spreading in like locusts, consuming its riches and destroying its plantations. All this is happening at a time when nations are attacking Muslims, like people fighting over a plate of food. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Why are you obsessed with this? What are we obsessed with? Jihad has got to be the most overabused word in the Muslim world. I will do jihad and I will be shaheed in Chechnya. Inshallah. So it's not yeah, just no, jihad, what? it's martyrdom. Martyrdom? Martyrdom is the surest path to paradise. Show me what in the Quran it's okay to kill yourself. What do you mean? No, 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 no. He raised, he raised an important point of doctrine. We must answer him. 
Yes, sir. Abu Huraira said, according to the Prophet, he who throws himself from a mountain and kills himself will burn eternally in hell. That martyrdom is not suicide. It is not. It's not. The Prophet said, I want to fight for Allah and get yes, martyred. And we turn again and get martyred. Yes. yes. Three yes. times. Three times. Yes, sir. What are you ashamed of? No, it's not. Are you ashamed of being a Muslim? Come on. Go. Islam isn't about killing Christians and Jews. Jews and Christians were all the time tolerated. They were protected. Who wants to forsake his brothers and follow Yasser? You want to stay? I want my life to come for something. You ready to put your hand? You ready to put your hand? Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Yes, to America! Strike at the network of radical groups affiliated with and funded by Osama bin Laden. War has begun. We will no longer be humiliated. We will not be dominated. The chairman is going to give you a brief summation. We owe it to our citizens and to the citizens of all lower body nations to do all the Brother Haidar, did you hear the news? Clinton is the best. He's our personal PR. Every time he mentions Osama as a challenger, he promotes jihad. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother Zamar. Wa alaikum salam. I think I'm being followed. They're probably tapping my phone as well. Now, I think you should move apartments. Now, be very careful who you give your address out to and watch what you say on the phone. Don't do anything to draw attention to yourselves. First lesson, military bases. Definition. These are the apartments, hiding places, command centers, etc. in which secret operations are executed against the enemy. It is preferable to rent apartments in newly developed areas where people do not know each other. In older quarters, strangers are easily identified. Allah samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakun lahu kufuan ahad. Allahu Akbar. Sami Allah ni man hamida. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Don't you want to get married and have a family? (sighs) 
Yeah. I want that more than anything in the world. But the question is to you. That's why I'm here. What about jihad? Who said anything about jihad? I'm not stupid, Ziad. It's my duty to defend Islam. And it's my duty to defend my brothers and sisters. Okay, and what about a husband's duty to his wife? I mean, you know, you're asking me to marry you. I am. Well, why would I marry a man who'll be dead in two years? I love you. That's not, it's not enough. It's not enough, Zian. Loving you isn't enough for you. No. Well, love means to be truthful, to be completely open and honest, isn't it? Of course. Then tell me the truth. What's more important to you, jihad or marrying me? Marriage isn't a game, Ziad. God, I would do anything for you, anything. And all I'm asking is for you to promise me one thing. That if we get married, you won't go off on jihad. That's why I'm here. I love you. And I want to be your husband. How's married life? Well, it isn't really married life. She's in Bukhum all the time on her course, and I'm living here. See, Ed, she's your wife. She's a Muslim woman. She should come to her husband. What do you tell her to? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu He's in the kitchen. Come and join us. Just be a minute. Okay, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Look to our martyrs. They have a beautiful smile on their faces. You are going back to Afghanistan, you three. Sheikh Osama, may Allah bless him, has asked for you himself. It's for something very special. Are we going to Chechnya? It's not for me to know. And you'll be told when you need to know. They've asked us to send more brothers. Jarrah, he's become a good brother. You think he's ready? No, he always seems distracted to me. He was a bit confused when he first came to us. But he learned to love Allah like a good Muslim. I don't know. Sometimes I look at Jarrah and I think I'm practically looking at a crusader. Hey. What are you doing? Just reading, uh, relaxing. What are you doing relaxing? What? Women and children being slaughtered in Palestine. Please, let's not get there, huh? Please, what? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm just gonna go make some tea. Cover yourself. Just cover yourself. You let a man see you like this? Well, I'm at home. Start but... behaving like my wife. And like a Muslim woman. Okay, and what's that? Like I should hide away in the corner? Oh, shut up! Shut I'd up and listen it. to me! Shut up! What am I doing here? Telling my parents I'm gonna be a big success. Lying to them. I should be fighting in Chechnya. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah? Well, go then. Just go. If, if that's what you want to do, do it. Just leave me alone. You know, I'm sick of this. You're sick of this. I 
are sick of this. I'm sick of you. I just finished. My thesis is ready. I must go home and see my family. Allah. تفضل يا بابا الشاي تفضل So, how long before you get your PhD? He just got his master's. We are successful people. Your sister Muna is a cardiologist. Ezza is a professor of botany. So how is it going to look? Our only son without his PhD. Where were you today? I was at the mosque, Baba. Are you going? I thought you would stay for dinner. I have business. It's Muhammad's last night. Work hard. I have spent a lot of money on your education. A lot of money. Do not disappoint me. Tell you, Muhammad. Come, sit next to me. Tell me, is there any girl in Hamburg? A Muslim girl? Hmm? Even Muslim girls, yeah, my mother. They're too vain nowadays to forward. Well, does that mean we are going to have to wait even longer for our grandchildren? Hmm? I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. So, yeah. No. No, Muhammad. Your father, you have to go back, Habibi. In the name of God Almighty, I am Muhammad, the son of Muhammad Al-Amir Awad Al-Sayyid Atta. <laughs> this is what I want to happen after my death. The people who will prepare my body should be good Muslims, because this will remind me of God and his forgiveness. All the money I leave must be divided according to the Muslim religion. A third should be spent on the poor and needy. I want my books to go to any one of the Muslim mosques. The person who will wash my body near my genitals must wear gloves on his hand so he will not touch my genitals. I don't want any women to go to my grave at all during my funeral or any occasion thereafter. When you bury me, bury me with those who are good Muslims. I want to face east toward Mecca. I want the people I leave behind to fear God and not to be deceived by what this life has to offer. Whoever neglects this will or does not follow Islam, that person will be held responsible in the end.
They say the Lebanese brother trains hardest of all. But he never stops. I live among the infidels. I have to wash off some of my sins. Have you chosen your kunya? Abu Tariq al-Lebnani. But like you, Abu Tariq, these brothers have also trained for jihad. But more than this, they are shohada. Are you ready for martyrdom, Abu Tariq? Are you ready to give yourself for Allah? Yes. Then this will be a glorious operation. And you will be Shaheed. I knew you could do it. I have prayed for this day. Brothers, when you get back to Hamburg, you will start applying for visas to get into America. We are going to strike at the Americans where they think they are invulnerable, inshallah. Inshallah. In their own homeland. Inshallah. But first, you must learn to fly planes. A hijacking? You'll be told in due time. When the world talks about the men who carried out this holy operation, they will be talking about the men who changed the course of history. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Assalam. Great days are coming. We left our families to send a message which has the color of blood to reach the whole world. This message says, Allah, take from our blood today until you are satisfied. The message says, the time of humiliation and slavery is over. Sorry for everything. Sorry, that's just a word, a stupid word. You've been gone for two months and I've been going out of my mind. Just keep your stupid presence. Where have you been? I can't tell you. Just get out and never come back. Please, please. You have to go, Ziad. I can't take this anymore, please. Please. Make you happy. 
I want us to get married properly. What do you mean, properly? We are married. In front of our parents, not like we're hiding it. I want to take care of you. I'm going to study hard. I'm going to be a pilot. Pilot? There's a great flight school in Berlin. You know I've always wanted to fly planes. It's a great job. There's lots of money. You know, your family has been going crazy. Your uncle Asim has been ringing me every day from Greifswald. He wants to talk to you, Ziad. No, thank you. Where have you been? Tell me. These people are idiots. What people? Your friends. Your so-called brothers, idiots. The ones who want to drag us back into the dark ages. The ones who despise all things modern. Except guns, of course. They love their modern guns. Where were you, Ziad? Where were you? Afghanistan. You are going straight home. I'll organize the flights. No, I'm not going home. You'll do just as you told. Shahad is my duty. We will no longer be humiliated. Who humiliated you, boy? You come from a good family. You're getting the best education. You're a winner. These idiot people are losers. They're not your people. They're not your brothers. We're your people. Your uncle, your mother, your father. Do you realize just how unwell your father is? His heart's already weak now. You want to kill him? Is that what you want? No. You humiliate him by what you do. This morning, when I was on the phone with him, he was crying down the phone like a baby. Because his son, whom he loves, is losing his mind. Is this what you want? And what about ISIL? Just how many people's lives do you want to destroy, Ziad? You want to break her heart as well? Ziad, you're deceiving this girl just as if you had other women on the side. You want to fill her life with misery? Or do you want to make her happy? Happy. Huh? Happy. Well, make us all happy. Because we're suffering now. Why do we suffer? Because we love you. Don't destroy your life, Ziad. Okay, you went to Afghanistan. You trained for jihad. But this is where it must end. I'm not ashamed of what I did. Nobody says you should be ashamed. But it is over now. Yes? Yes? Yes. Give them the one I told you yesterday, 716-289. Same company we used yesterday. I'm going to tell you about it, I promise. I want to get away from these people. You won't find me in America. So 
only for a short time, I promise you. Uh, hello there. Yes, sir. Uh, my brother's moving to America to study. I want to send him some money. Can you tell me how to do that? Uh, yeah, you can do that electronically. Bank to bank, direct transfer. No visa. They turned me down. And you? Alhamdulillah. You're truly blessed, Amir. Allah has smoothed everything in your path. I will apply again. Inshallah, I will join you in America. Atta! Look, the money is arrived. You did a good job today. Thank you. Now talk to the office, Yad. And I'll tell you what your friend, Mr. El... Venishev. Yeah, what he needs to do. Where does he want to start? He's waiting for his visa. Yeah. You know, I think you got to wait until he gets his visa so he doesn't lose his deposit. I mean, that's what I do anyway. No, but that's the problem. He has to show that he's enrolled in order to get it. Yeah, it's kind of a catch-22, isn't it? Well, talk to the office. Maybe they can help. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. You're tipping a twin tomorrow. How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Hello. It's me. Hi. Hi, Javi. What are you doing? I'm on the beach with some friends. Lucky you. It's beautiful. You should see it here. It's amazing. Mm, I'd love to. Who's the greatest pilot in the world? I don't know. It's me. I'm spectacular. You'll be able to come home soon. I love you. I have to go. No. Wait. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, how's it going? Okay. You're doing a great job as a hostess. Oh, Zia, here you go. Here's your beer. Thank you. How about some American food, huh? What do you like, a hot dog, hamburger? Hamburger. Hamburger. Okay, you got it. Julius, one more hamburger, please. Sorry about that. <laughs> Take it easy. Look at this guy. You okay? Oh, I haven't had one in a long time. Yeah, well, here, here's your burger. In very well, Ziad. So what about Ramzi? I went to the flight school and asked them about Ramzi's visa. There's nothing they can do about it. He has to apply the usual way. What's that? What's what? What is this smell? What smell? What is this smell? I had a beer. All right, calm down. You had a beer? Yeah, I had a beer. You say it just like that. You don't feel ashamed of yourself. You were told to fit in. This is a big sin. You have to understand it is forbidden. Calm down, Republic. You're a criminal! Calm down, calm down. Maybe you're going to jeopardize this whole operation. You're not going to jeopardize the whole operation. Too. I lower your voice, lower your voice. Maybe all of us are going to pay the price of your one beer. Yeah, we were in the corner. I was... We were hanging out in the corner. What's happened? This is how they humiliate us. Telling us where to go and where we can't. Because we're Arabs. 
Do you think a Jew would have this problem? Nah. A Jew turns up in an embassy, they tell him, when do you want to go, sir? I could see that interviewer think, you dirty Arab, I will not let you into my great country. the mission is going to be? You'll be told what you need to know. The most important thing is that you have to learn how to fly. You know about the flight school, where it is? Norman. Norman, yes. In Oklahoma. You've contacted them, they're expecting you. Of course. This is my number. Don't speak to anyone. Just me. You're going to be a Shaheed. Inshallah. May Allah bless you. Take care, yes? Ma salam. Hello? How much longer is this going to take? Tell me, what's the problem? Well, the longer we wait, the more chances there are of things going wrong. The more difficult it gets. I mean, I sell wants to know what's taking me so long. I know, it must be hard for her. It's hard for me too. There's a simple solution. down just a little bit. Watch your altitude, there's the end. Soon I'll do this for real. Three degrees now on your cruise. Next. Good morning. Good morning. Did you know your visa has expired, Mr. Otto? Which one are you looking at? Um, that. That's nice. Wow, it's too much. Let's go. This is a tourist visa. I have applied for uh, changing visa status from uh, uh, tourist to student. When was that, Mr. Eta? I have uh, here. This is a notice of action from the immigration office for approval of my I-20. He's attending a flight school. Hoffman Aviation, South Florida.
I'll be back in an hour. Don't be long, huh? Mm. Okay. I was just trying to fit in, okay? You don't have to fit in that well. It's okay, Atta. Come on. Come you on. You too. Button up your shirt. Come down. There's we'll nothing so wrong about it. We're just relaxing, Come on. all right? Okay. We're going to be late for the meeting. doing I'm uh, <laughs> you're looking to my things I'm sorry again I'm sorry here have a look come and have a look come and have a look I'm really proud of this one you know no just be proud of me there's some good stuff here come and have a look I'm sorry why can't you just trust me Talk to your father. This is paradise, you and me. We can be happier. No, no, thank you. It's your last night. Let's go out and eat. Amir. Oh, Shahi. Lahza, lahza, gay. Amir, I had the most beautiful dream. I flew to heaven, to the window, to paradise. You weren't frightened? You won't feel a thing as soon as you are killed. The virgins come and take you. Tell me about paradise. Two beautiful virgins came and took my hand. They were so beautiful, Amir. I can't wait. Continue, I'm trying to zoom. Stay where you are. Smile. Yes, very good.
Al Qaeda attack is in the near future. Within several Something weeks. really spectacular is going to happen here, and it's going to happen. The attack soon. will be spectacular, and will be designed to inflict mass casualties against U.S. facilities or interests. Attack preparations have been made. Attack will occur with little or no warning. They are waiting us out, looking for vulnerability. Targets will be codenamed the Faculty of Town Planning. Here is your target, Amir, the first of the two towers. The Faculty of Law. The Faculty of Fine Arts. The Faculty of Applied Sciences. When we first conceived this holy operation, we were planning to launch a blizzard of planes. But as you know, Amir, it isn't easy getting brothers into America to train us pilots. But now we have the best. When your targets fall, it will be a great thing. An unbelievable thing. And God willing, we will bring America to her knees. And you, Amir, will forever be revered as the holy warrior of Islam. Who are the brothers? How is he at? He'll be fine. Marwan too. They'll both be ready to fly. Anjur? He's an experienced pilot. They're all good brothers. What about Musawi? He's a bit of a problem. He's going to a new flight school. We think he's going to be okay. Ya Allah, this is not the right time for uncertainty. Not now. Ya Allah. If I was to be alive at any time in history, do you know what time I would pick? It would be when the Prophet fled to Medina. Please be upon him. I would be one of his companions. I would be there when he fights the Ghazwas, the great battles he fought to establish the Islamic nation. I dream about it every day. But instead, here I am, in this world. It doesn't compare. Everything now is corrupt. It's petty. I used to think like that. But then I realized this is going to be another Ghazwa, another great battle for Islam. When you strike, you're going to be like one of the companions. You're going to do a great, great thing. Who do I tell about the targets? Uh, the pilots, hmm. Al Hazmi, Al Mihdar, and no one else. And not Musawi either. Well. And everyone must be ready by Ramadan. Is the money coming in okay? Send back anything we have left over. Lamak. If we don't meet again in this world, we will meet in paradise. Inshallah. I will miss you. We all will. Masalam. Allah yahmik. Allah ma'ak. Is everything all right? No. Ever since you've been back, you've been a bit distant. Listen, I've come halfway around the world to see you, myself. You always expect so much. I'm sorry, I just asked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just worry about you, that's all. I hoped you'd be back for good this time. It doesn't have to be this way anymore. Your parents have said yes. Oh, 
All my father talks about is the wedding. This is the last time I leave you, I sell. I promise. Think about the nice stuff. Think about our house. Think about our garden. Think about our children, I sell. <laughs> Terror groups are known to be planning and training for hijackings, and we ask you, therefore, to use caution. There are currently an inordinate number of individuals of investigative interest in Arizona, participating in civil aviation-related training. It is my suspicion that this is an effort to establish a cadre of individuals who would conduct future terrorist activity. FBI information since that time indicates patterns of suspicious activity in this country consistent with preparations for hijackings or other types of attack, including recent surveillance of federal buildings in New York. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're enjoying your flight this morning. We're just about to reach our cruising altitude of 32,000 feet. The weather's clear, and it should be a nice, smooth flight. Cabin crew will shortly be serving breakfast, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the plane. have five teams to coordinate. That means selecting airports, working out departure times, flight times, distances. Once the first plane hits, the alarm will go up. The brothers in the other planes must be in a position to act at once. How do we deal with the passengers? Fewer passengers travel on Tuesdays. There will be less passengers to control. It's just another hijacking. That's what they'll be told. But should there be any resistance, we have to deal with them quickly. Yes, and everyone will need to be trained. Do we have the GBS equipment? Not yet. Well, we need to get it now and program the coordinates of the target. Amir. None of these targets will be easy to destroy. Mm -hmm. Each pilot has to know yes. how and exactly where to hit it. This will need what about to be focused and synchronized. There are concerns. Do you uh, actually own a pilot's license, Mr. Masali? No. Well, this is a Boeing 747. It's a big plane. Yes, yes, I know this. Just teach me London, New York. Well, I think it would be best if you learn the basics. You know, taking off, landing on a light aircraft. Look, man, I told you, just teach me London, New York. We'll be going. Third baseman Roberts guarding tight to the line behind the bag of third. Much as he would do in the ninth inning with a one-run lead. Who's that? Zacharias Masawi. Mr. Masawi, Immigration and Naturalization Service. We have a warrant for your arrest. checked in yet. No one's heard from him. I think we have to assume he's not in a position to make it to the wedding. We're going to have to bring the wedding forward. What shall I tell the other guests? I'll call you tomorrow. Less than a month. Great.
once you're in a position like this, the first thing you have to do is look into his eyes. And you have to be the one in power. You understand? And the first element is surprise. Right. Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six! And ready. We have to understand? assume the worst about Musawi. What does he know? Okay. Alhamdulillah, nothing. You you try. That means we can only do four targets. We have 19 brothers. Five men each on the first three planes. Count. Four for you. Every move decisive. Understand? Airports. Boston Logan. Same. Boston Logan. Dallas. New York. Targets. Much better. Faculty of Town Planning. You can say it, Amir. You try with him. World Trade Center 1. I want you and you to try. World Trade Center 2. Pentagon. Capital. Make every move decisive. In the day Understand? of destiny. Yeah. Try again. A window will open in the sky. Ha! 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 And all ha! them jahideen who ha! died that day will go straight into paradise. Now, uh, Can't wait. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Brother. Yes, a single time. Yes. Mm. Let's go. I think maybe sometimes it was too in love with this knife. Mm. But I'm prepared to die. Listen, you know, once I had those. I can smell heaven already. When I go to I'm gonna slaughter these people in their thousands. It was great. Jews, infidels, crusaders. You can rid the earth of that filth. Yeah. Do you see? One more thing. Beautiful virgins, you know. Do you think I'll miss her? I said she will be there. When you die as a mujahid, you have ten people to bring with you to paradise. Allah promise you that. She will be there. So remember, be decisive. Stick to your decision. And always, use your number one friend. Go. Surprise. Okay? Okay. Take a seat. That's Allah's promise to you. If God decrees that any of you are to slaughter, dedicate the slaughter to your fathers. Because you have an obligation to them. Do not disagree and obey. If you slaughter, do not cause the discomfort of those you are killing. Because this is one of the practices of the Prophet. Peace be upon you. Peace be upon you. Peace be upon you. I want to send this to the United Arab Emirates. No problem, sir. Hi. Mm, I have uh, reservations uh, in the name uh, Jara. Can you spell that, please? J-A-R-R-A-H. Okay. Flying United, Newark Airport, September 11th, 8.02 a.m. How can I forget my cousin's wedding? The 22nd. Have you booked your flight? Yeah, I even bought a suit for it. You remember I said there would be something waiting for you when you got here? You know what it is? What? A Mercedes. <laughs> for you. You and Isa. For your wedding. Thank you. Thank you. How is Isa? Well, she's at the hospital. She's had her tonsils removed. Ziad! Listen, I've worked hard here. I just want you to be proud of me. And, and you'll be proud, you'll see. Just kiss mom for me, please. Bye, Dad. Ziad, are you in there? Open the door. Look at mercy. There you are. I was worried. Ziad! Where are you going? I'll see you later.
I see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance, please? Thank you. The reason I stopped you is I have you clocked at 60 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour zone. If you just sit right here, I'll be with you in just a minute. Sir, here's your information back. Just need your signature right here on the bottom of the citation. Signing this citation is not an admission of guilt. It simply states that you received a copy of it and you'll comply with the court date indicated. Thank you. There's your copy. Please drive safely. The last night. First thing I want you to believe is that I love you with all my heart. Make an oath to die and renew your intentions. Shower. Shave excess hair from the body. And wear cologne. I don't want you to be sad. I live somewhere else now. Where you can't see me. Where you can't hear me. But I will see you. And I will know how you are. Bless your body with some verses of the Quran. Bless the luggage. The clothes. The knife. Bless your personal effects, your ID, your passports, and all your papers. I will wait for you until you come to me. Everyone has his time. Make sure you know all aspects of the plan well, and expect a reaction from the enemy. Read al Thoba, al Anfal, and reflect on their meanings and remember all the things God has promised for the martyrs. Be prepared to anticipate the response of the enemy. Purify your soul from all unclean things. You should feel complete tranquility because the time between you and paradise is very short. Afterward begins eternal bliss in the company afterward begins eternal bliss in the company of the prophets the companions the martyrs ask god for his mercy and be optimistic do not seek revenge for yourself strike for god's sake The hour of reality comes, the zero hour. Welcome death with your whole heart. Strike like champions.
have a good flight. Gate B1, thank you, sir. Bags yourself, sir? Yes. Could anyone have interfered with your luggage? No. We are on time. We've had a delay. We've lost our bags. Is everything all right? We're boarding now, alhamdulillah. Okay, bye. Departure mode. Me too. The time has come at last. <laughs>